Hi, this video tutorial I will cover Tomcat connection pooling. By default, uh, Tomcat support uh, DPCP connection pool. For DPCP connection pool, Tomcat needs uh, Commons DPCP library, Commons uh, pool library. And these libraries are located in a single jar inside uh, Tomcat leaf folder. Name of the jar is uh, Tomcat DPCP jar. You can see here tomcat dpcp.jar inside a tomcat leaf folder. During server startup, we can configure a dpcp data source and register in the naming service. Example of naming service is uh, JNDA. And uh, here you can see key is uh, jdbc slash hrdb and the corresponding object is uh, dpcp basic data source object. And using JNDA lookup, we can get uh, this data source object in the web application. And once we get the data source object, from data source object, we can get the connection object and communicate to the database. Now we will see how to do that. Here you can see employees table, which is there in the HR uh, database. And I have written this query. I am executing this query. And here you can see the employee information and using Serlet, how to get this employee information and display in the web browser, we will see now. We are using Oracle database, so we have to put uh, this OJDBC 6 jar inside the Tomcat leaf folder. We have to configure a connection pool in contacts.xml. Here I have configured a Tomcat connection pool. Name is JDBC slash HRDB and auth container type is javax.sql.data source. Max active is 100. Max active is nothing but maximum number of database connections in the pool and max ideal is 30. Max ideal is nothing but uh, maximum number of ideal database connection to retain in the pool and max wait is uh, 10,000. Max wait is nothing but uh, maximum time to wait for database connection to become available. And username of uh, Oracle database is HR, password is HR, driver class name is uh, Oracle uh, driver and uh, URL of uh, Oracle database. To explain uh, Tomcat connection pooling, I have created this project and in this project in web.xml, I have configured uh, employee info servlet and URL pattern for this servlet is employee info and also I configured uh, resource ref and resource ref name is jdbc slash hrdb which we have configured in uh, contacts.xml and uh, resource uh, type is uh, java.x.sql.data source so this one and resource auth is container this one i will deploy this application in tomcat server I am starting the server. Server has been started. This is the URL to access the web application. And it is displaying the welcome page. This is the welcome page. It has uh, one link, show employee information. And when you click this link, the request goes to the server. And the URL pattern is uh, employee info. I am clicking on this link. And you can see employee information from Oracle database. And you can see the employee information.
and uh, the request goes to the server and the URL pattern is uh, employee info. So the server will forward the request to servlet container. Servlet container will check the URL pattern employee info there in the web.xml or not. It is there and the corresponding servlet is uh, employee info servlet. So the servlet container will call employee info servlet uh, init method to initialize this servlet. In init method what we are doing is using uh, JNDA lookup we are getting the data source object and assigning to this variable. Then servlet container will call uh, do get method to process the request. In do get method what we are doing is we are calling uh, show employee information method passing the print writer object. In uh, show employee information method we are getting a connection object from the data source and once we get the connection object we are creating the statement object and uh, using uh, statement object we are executing the query and SQL is uh, select employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number from employees and uh, this statement dot execute query method will return result set object and once we get the result set object we are iterating result set object and getting each row information and displaying the output. Here you can see the output. Then we are closing a result set object, statement object and connection object. And this is about Tomcat connection pooling configuration and thanks for watching.